Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if you are new here. If you are new, my name is Shan from Home with Shan over on Instagram and this is on my YouTube channel where I talk about all things motherhood related. I do the same over on Instagram as well. I try to share the realities of motherhood as well as some helpful tips and tricks if I ever do get any myself. In today's video, we're going to be talking about mum hacks, baby hacks, things that I have learned over the past year. My baby is one year old now and I need to share some of the top hacks that I've learned over the past year when it comes to mum and baby life. So let's get straight into it and my first hack is to double layer the cot bedding. So what I mean by this is by having a mattress protector, then a cot sheet, and then another mattress protector, and then another cot sheet you will never be cut short in the middle of the night when it comes to explosive nappies or just leaking or when they're waking up crying you're not sure what's wrong you realize that there's an absolute mess in their cot if you've got the double layer system you can actually just take off one of the layers put it somewhere until the morning sort out baby and then you've got another fresh set of bedding there ready for them and you don't have to disturb the night as much as you might have had to if you had to like get it out of the cupboard or maybe even wash the bedding or bring them into your room actually you've got the system there that you can just pop them back in the cot once you've sorted them and it trusts me it saves so much time and ag mum and baby hack number two is to have drawer dividers in your baby drawers actually generally as like a life hack just a tip in general life. I would have drawer dividers in pretty much every drawer if I could, but in my baby drawers, 100% having drawer dividers has absolutely changed my game because I can separate all of the tops, the vests, the trousers, nappies, everything. Like everything is in its own little divider. I've got something for the Tommy Tippy thermometer and the cow pole and all of that kind of stuff. Then I've got one for nappies. For his clothes, I've also got all of his trousers in one and then I've got his sets in another than his pajamas in another it makes things so much easier and so easy to find things when you're in a rush as well as when you're putting things away you know where things are going it's just so much easier I 100% believe in drawer dividers for baby clothes, 100%. Mum hack number three is something I talk about all the time and it is to meal plan, meal prep and batch cook. Trust me, this is something if you get into the habit of doing it, you will never ever regret. I rely on my batch cook meals pretty much about 80% of the time and 20% of the time I always feel like I'm behind on things. I really struggle when I don't batch cook. For example, last night I actually had a nightmare with George where he... I prepped him a meal, made him a nice dinner, like looked up a good recipe and stuff, made the dinner, he chucked it on the floor. I made him another one, he chucked that on the floor and I made him a completely separate one, he had about two mouthfuls and then he chucked it on the floor and I was just like, what the hell? So, if I had batch cooked, I wouldn't have had to spend like half an hour, 45 minutes making him all of this food on the night and I could have sat with him so that I could have literally just been like trying to help him eat rather than me having to be up and like preparing food or washing up and all that kind of stuff. If it was all batch cooked, there'd be no washing up, there'd be nothing to do other than warm up the dinner and give it to him and sit down with him. So trust me when I say, I could not live without my batch cooked baby food at all. I do have a few videos on my channel where I go through a couple of recipes, but there are loads here on YouTube that you could look up. My favorite ones to do are the blueberry banana and oat pancakes for breakfast. They're George's absolute favorite thing. He will, he has never refused to eat them. Like he absolutely loves them. For snacks and lunches, I love doing sweet potato wedges. They're really easy. You literally just chop up a sweet potato and put it in the oven. I put a little bit of cumin on it sometimes and then like that's that is sweet potato like wedges which are gorgeous george has them cold he has them hot whichever way he really wants all of those kind of things are actually really easy to batch cook and then once you've cooked them pop them in the freezer and then just defrost them or you can heat them up again if you want to honestly i would not be without my meal prep i would not be without my batch cook it will change your life if you do it properly i swear to you mum hack number four is an obvious one but it's one that we all forget very frequently, or at least I do, and it is to get everything ready the night before. So, for example, if you have to take your little one to the nursery or childbinders, or if you've just got to get to work the next day, get your bag ready, get little one's bag ready, all the food that they might need, get that all sorted, clothes, what are they wearing, 
and in the morning it's such a smooth transition because you've got every you've thought about all of these things previously it makes such a massive difference even if it's just in your stress levels it makes such a difference that i really really think it is like worthy of mum hack status like just do it and see how much smoother your life goes in the mornings. Mum hack number five is to subscribe and save on Amazon. I've been saving so much money on those things like nappies, wipes, formula, everything like that. You can get a subscribe and save and save up to 20% on things like nappies. And let's face it, they are expensive and we go through a lot of them. So to subscribe and save, it's really, really simple. I'll pop a little screenshot up here of how to do it. Honestly, to have subscribe and save on all of those essential things that I mentioned actually means that you can never have to go out to the shop to get those. You're never gonna run out of nappies. You're never gonna run out of wipes, which I have done in the past and it's not a good look. So to get all of those things delivered to the house on like a monthly basis and be saving money on those items is just a win-win. So I'm so glad that I've actually finally just discovered this hack and I definitely wanted to share it with you to get you to subscribe and save on Amazon. Trust me, you will not regret it. Hack number six is something that I speak about all the time since I discovered it as a new mum, probably about six months ago actually. And I'm really happy to say that this hack is sponsored by the lovely team at Whirly. So Whirly is a toy subscription service where you literally subscribe to pay a certain amount a month, however much you want. They've got different tariffs for different needs. I have the middle one. And essentially I can borrow toys from Whirly. They're all secondhand toys, so it's really, really sustainable and I absolutely love that. But you can borrow the toys for as long as you want. And then if your baby doesn't like the toys or they grow out of the toys, because let's face it, they literally grow out of everything so quickly it's insane and it's not just for babies either it's for kids as well it's so good i love the premise behind it it basically saves on clutter it saves on spending money on things it saves on waste honestly it's brilliant basically you sign up for a certain amount per month i there are lots of different tariffs and the middle one is the one that i've got so i pay the medium amount per month and get access to loads like thousands of toys and can borrow toys from this website literally any toy that you've seen is pretty much going to be on whirly look there's so many it's ridiculous currently we have a walker for george we also have some bath toys we have some blocks like we are really using this and you can swap the toys as many times as you want. One of the reasons I really like it is because it doesn't clutter up my house with loads and loads of toys. Imagine if I still had a jumper roo hanging about, the walker, like loads of other things as well. Actually, I've been able to send back the toys that George no longer uses. That gets sent back to Whirly. They then sanitize everything, clean everything to a really hygienic standard. And then next time someone else wants something, they can recycle it and give it to that family instead. So the fact that we are reusing, we're recycling, we're decluttering our own houses and we're saving money i'm sorry but i can't think of a better mum hack than that if you guys are interested in signing up with whirly for the toy subscription service i've got a discount code for you it is down in the description box i'll pop it up here as well the link is down there go and give it a try honestly you will not regret it some of the best things that i have got for george have been on whirly so go and test it out and you can always cancel it if you're not interested anymore i just think it's such a good deal and it, there are just so many benefits and i just think you guys need to go and check it out i really hope you enjoy it mum hack number seven is fairly similar to the last one i guess but it is to buy second hand i mean we all really want these brand new shiny things for our little ones i know i get it but actually genuinely guys the minute you buy something its value decreases straight away and say someone's had something for four months say someone's had a jumper roo for four months buy it second hand on Facebook Marketplace or eBay or something and you'll get such a good deal. What I would say with that is sometimes obviously if you're getting it from someone on Facebook Marketplace, it could come from a perfectly fine home. Other times the quality's not as good or it hasn't been cleaned. The thing is with Whirly is you can be assured that you're gonna get a clean, not broken, good quality product. But if it's coming to clothes or something, buy second hand. Like I've bought pre-loved things for George so many times and I love them. So many gorgeous items that for a fraction of the price, especially things like Zara clothes, that kind of thing definitely looking at those second hand because let's face it babies are only in them for like three months and then 
parents need to get rid of them somehow. So I would say buy secondhand or at least shop around. Some of my favorite items that I got for George's nursery are secondhand items. So we got his cot secondhand, we got his first ever buggy secondhand as well. They were really, really affordable for what they were and I really highly recommend looking on Facebook Marketplace, looking out for those deals and being open to buying secondhand and seeing how much money you might be able to save. The reality is they're not gonna know. You're gonna know and your wallet's gonna know. Hack number eight is to get yourself a portable changing mat and wipe station. Let me tell you guys, if you've watched any of my vlogs ever or any of my like newborn essentials or anything, you will have seen me talk about my portable nappy changing mat. It's genuinely, I use it every day, like every day. Even the days I don't leave the house, I'm using this. So I would say it's probably my most used baby item ever. But it also is a hack because it genuinely changes the game when you're on the go. So for example, I did a six hour car journey recently with George and the amount of nappies I had to change, he had a bit of a tummy ache. So it was just a bit of a struggle, I'm not gonna lie. The portable changing mat came in so handy. Back of the car, services, even if that's like, I've changed his nappy in the woods once. Like I genuinely use this thing everywhere. The one that I've got comes with a wipe dispenser which keeps the wipes nice and fresh because it's all sealed and there's a place to put your like nappy bags and actual nappies as well as laying baby so I think it's genuinely so worth it. I think they're like a tenner on Amazon. I'll link them down below. The one that I got was from Aldi but I don't think they have it in stock anymore but the ones from Amazon are exactly the same thing. This is one of the biggest hacks I could ever say to you because you're never ever gonna get poop on your car, your carpet, you're never gonna have to put baby on the floor or the dirt or the grass or anything you can just pop them on this and trust me it's one of the best hacks that I've learned in the past year and then finally hack number 10 is to not do anything that you could do when your baby is awake when they are napping the reason I say this is because the time that they are napping is the time for you firstly first and foremost it's for you go and have a shower go and get ready go and do something for you but don't do anything like houseworky that you could possibly do when they are awake, when they're asleep, because it is a waste, like prioritize your time a little bit. So say, if obviously they are kicking off during the day and you're not really able to do any housework or anything, like hanging up the washing or whatever, when they are awake, I get it. Like it, not every day goes like that, but most of the time they'd be happy to either sit in the bouncer or just have a little toddle about, depending how old they are if you would like to hang up the washing or something. But if they're asleep and you're doing it, then actually that's taking away from time that you could be doing something else, like having a shower. You cannot have a shower when they're awake, or at least I can't. I literally don't know how people do that. I feel like I'd be like constantly in and out of the shower, like trying to chase George around. Take nap times for yourself. Don't do anything that you could possibly do when they are awake, when they're asleep, because nap times are precious and I'm really really not looking forward to the day where George goes down from two naps to one nap. Ugh. Anyway guys, that is everything from me today. Those are my top 10 mum and baby hacks that I've learned over the past year. I genuinely think that these hacks have changed my life, but I would love to know what your top baby hack is or mum hack is since you had your baby because I'm always learning, we're all always learning and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments. Let me know what your favourite hack is of mine and don't forget to use the link below to get a yearly subscription for toys. If you're worried about clutter, if you're worried about what to get them and all that kind of stuff, trust me, Whirly is for you. Go and check it out down below but for now I will love you and leave you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! Cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby